conversation with Tucker Carlson, Representative Tim Burchett said he will be speaking directly with the new Speaker of the House about the UAP Disclosure Act either today or tomorrow. So where is this legislation going? I mean, will there be disclosure short term? Will these two committee chairmen, the Speaker of the House, Mitch McConnell, will they shut it down? Well, the Senate passed it. Um, the amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act, but it hasn't been signed into law yet. The House is in negotiations, from what I understand, over this amendment. I'll be talking to the Speaker today or tomorrow about this amendment and just telling him how important it is to this community and, and uh, transparency. That, that's really all I want is transparency. Where we're, where we're spending all this money on something, and where is it going, and why do they not trust the American public? Those are the things that people need to ask. You can, you know, as I said at the, at the hearing, I said, we're not going to bring in a UFO. We're not going to bring in little green men. But what we want is transparency. And, and unfortunately, we don't have much of that in the United States Congress because they'll, oh, look, there's another shiny object over here. They'll misdirect us over here. They'll misdirect us over there. But I believe this community is very, very in tune to what's going on and the cover up that's been going on. Yeah. Florida Congresswoman Anna Polina Luna wrote on X, my office is now putting together a bipartisan press conference on the pushback we are getting regarding UAPs. We will announce dates. This will be open to the public. More to come. Journalist Ross Colvart recently revealed that the United States has recovered extensive non-human craft while appearing on News Nation. The Office of Global Access is the office, I'm told, where yeah. this is all happening. The, you've got to have an office to coordinate the retrieval of these craft. And I, I know a lot of people out there still think this is all science fiction. But uh, since we did the Grush interview a few months ago, I've just got more solid with intelligence sources who are telling me that the entire operation is and has long been run out of the CIA and the OGA, the Office of Global Access, is where it's happening. The only um, issue that I take issue with in the uh, Daily Mail report is that it's not just nine craft. I'm told that the United States is in possession of far more than nine craft, not all of them intact. And whilst this might all sound incredible, uh, what I can also reveal is that, yes, there are JSOC operators, Special Operations Command operators, mainly recruited from the um, the US Air Force Special Forces who are involved in these retrieval teams. And uh, it's a very active and ongoing operation. If someone doesn't take a Polaroid camera into one of those rooms, <laughs> guess I guess the photographic I'm so, I'm getting so of something sick of soon. this. Just show it to us. I need to see it. You know, Robbie. I'm not going to believe it. I am alien philic. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm a very pro-alien yeah. kind of girl. Yeah. I would like, but I, I cannot, there's a, there's a credibility issue here that's emerging. The more and more these stories are about how I can tell you this, there's now we've narrowed down to a series of like two or three interlocutors who are constantly the ones that are being told that someone else that they can't reveal are telling them something that they can tell us. We had, what was it, um, shortly before there was supposed to be uh, two or three people that were going to be a part of that hearing that ended up not happening. And, and the, the question was, okay, well, they, they cancel the hearing. If, they, if you can't participate in the hearing, you can still talk to the public. You're obviously, you were on the government's list for you were going to appear in this. Like, people know who you are at this point. Why are we still doing this cloak and daggers? And I still feel like we're at that point, wherever we were in, like, yeah. midsummer, when it was all anticipatory. Here's something kind of weird, though. So I just Googled while we were listening to this, the yeah. Office of Global Access, mm -hmm. um, which Ross Coulthard claims is coordinating the alien stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got a, this is very weird. There's I, the result I get, look, it says, it looks like the results below are changing quickly. If this topic is new, it can sometimes take time for reliable sources to publish information. Check the source. Are they trusted on this topic? Come back later. Other sources might have more information. I've never gotten this notification before. They're like, like Google's annoyed that I searched this topic. Uh, okay. I'm just saying. Uh, okay. This is a big alien uh, trying uh, to block, Look. trying to thwart so, our quest for the truth. What was interesting about Isn't that kind of weird? Is it? I, 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 I honestly I've never don't, gotten this I honestly before. don't know. Look, what was interesting about the Tucker Carlson um, segment is that he was pretty definitive on his belief that the government has uh, alien spaceships. Yeah. Look, I want it all disclosed. I want transparency. I want what Tim Burchett 
uh, is trying to accomplish. I, I wish him all the good fortune in the world in succeeding at that. I think it should all be disclosed so we can judge for ourselves. I am very sick, like you are, of hearing there's a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who saw the craft with the dead aliens in it. I want that guy to tell me where they are. I want him to take me there right now. We can unmike ourselves. We can follow him to the desert or to the secret facility so I can see them. We'll take pictures. Like, let's do that. Let's do that right now. Yeah, I mean, and if we can't do that, stop talking about it. There's also this. Th it is interesting that apparently, con the Congress members who are trying to push for more transparency are getting pushback. And there is this argument that says, well, if the investigation is being stonewalled, that is circumstantial evidence that they are trying to hide something. Now, the subsequent question is, are they trying to hide evidence of the existence of aliens, alien spacecrafts, alien bodies? We saw that little figurine that they had dug up in Mexico that was supposed to be an alien a couple months ago. Or is it just evidence of technology, whether foreign or domestic, that is not. I fully believe the government would try to hide the existence of a ham sandwich. So <laughs> it, it could be nothing. It could be technology. That's very possible. Do plausible. you really believe that? Yeah, they're knee-jerk. They love secrecy. For They love pointless bureaucratic secrecy. They like redacting documents. They like not giving you the information you need. It's a sick little power trip for them. Uh, I, I fully believe they would keep secret absolutely nothing. OK, well then. All, like, like if there two, was nothing, they then, would keep that secret. Then two of the three scenarios are that there's nothing. Yeah, I, I think that's plausible. Um, we talked about, uh, you were out, and Amisha was here, and we talked about some alien-related stuff, and she betrayed a, self-admitted a lack of interest in the subject, <laughs> and she said, these are her words, did not mine, she said, this is a thing among black people and black people on social media that there are more important things in this topic. That's what she claimed. That black people don't care about aliens? Yes. Well, I don't want to out any specific member of my family, uh -huh. but I will say that there was a picnic. My great-grandmother lived on the end of a cul-de-sac mm -hmm. next to a park mm -hmm. in Cleveland. And it is known in the family. This is a no, my mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> it is known that something in the family. Was seen. They were all together at a family event and a picnic in the 1970s. Now, P UFO people know that 1970s in Ohio was where there was a lot of sightings. So it could not, it might not have been an alien, but a lot of people were saying something was going on in the skies in Ohio in the 1970s, where they were all having frivolity, eating food, whatever. And they turned, and they all tell the same story about seeing at the end of the park a orange spherical orb slowly move and descend Hover, they all went quiet for like a minute and then it went away. And I'm like, did you guys discuss it? My mom's like, nobody talked about it. We just were like, we all saw it and then we just moved on from it. So I don't know about black people en masse. I don't know if that contradicts or confirms what, what, uh, what Amisha was saying. <laughs> that they didn't care, they had bigger problems. <laughs> yeah, they definitely had bigger problems. But yeah, I, I don't, you know, and I also think that as a Trekkie, a, a lot of black people are disproportionately into Star Trek because it was one of the more diverse uh, shows on TV in the 1960s. Uhura. It was like the only show that had black people on it where we weren't playing maids and housekeepers. Um, so yeah, I do think there's, th black people love sci-fi. Mm. I think black people love space. I don't know uh, Amisha's life, but also, uh, also black people aren't a monolith. Yeah, so. no, for sure. Well, I wasn't <laughs> making that claim. I was just relaying it to you and giving you the opportunity to weigh in. More rising right after this.